Inside Pablo Escobar's abandoned secret island mansion, the world has seen many Underworld's drug lords, but none of them was like Pablo Escobar. He was cunning, vicious, and ruthless. He was known as the king of cocaine, and at one point, Escobar was smuggling around 15 tons of cocaine to the U.S. each day. He was a thief, murderer, and drug lord. According to his brother, the rubber band that they wrap around the cash every month cost them more than $1,000. For all of his criminal activities, he had just one policy, accept the bribe or face the bullets. His criminal activities and drug cartel earned him a net worth of a hefty $30 billion in 1980. Hence, he owned countless luxury cars, 15 planes, and six helicopters. It is also said that he had so much money that to keep it safe, he had to bury it under the ground. Sometimes rats would end up eating his money, but as he couldn't have a bank account for his black money, he was helpless. According to a report, almost $1 billion of his money was eaten by rats. One of his many mansions in Puerto Triunfo, the Hacienda Napoles, had a personal zoo of rhinoceros, giraffes, elephants, and a dinosaur park. Today, this mansion is worth $5.1 billion and is turned into a theme park. The Colombian government has renovated this whole place and tourists from all over the world visit the place. But his most favorite and secret mansion was hidden under the tropical forest and the Caribbean Sea on a small island called La Isla Grande. This multi-million dollar mansion that is falling gradually today was once the most beautiful party palace owned by Escobar. He would spend his summers in this palace, and he would also use it as an escape whenever he needed it. La Isla Grande is a huge, amazing white concrete complex that consists of 300 rooms in individual chalets, 200 full bathrooms that are equipped with gold shower heads, and a helipad in the middle of the forest. A reporter once found pastel blue and coral pink painted walls that looked like a strip from Miami's South Beach, but with a family of giant wild pigs. This island is only a few kilometers long, but the spectacular buildings are worth retrieving and visiting. The only hurdle is reaching this far-flung island is nearly impossible. One needs a special boat and hours of trudging through mangrove swamps. Once, this glorious mansion had all the world's best amenities in it. Pablo used to hold his drug cartel's parties in this mansion and lived like a king. No outsiders were allowed to visit the premises, and anyone who tried was shot dead by the trained armed guards appointed by Escobar. There were waterfront apartments, a huge palm court that was beautifully built around a giant swimming pool. The forest floor would take you to an old, ornately tiled pathway that led into Escobar's palace, whereas the once lush gardens are now a place to roam for giant wild pigs. The main mansion that was decorated with white tile and marble only has the cracked walls now. If you move towards the lobby, it connects you to a huge courtyard that is covered with palm trees overlooking the Caribbean Sea. The court was dominated by an oversized and drained pool. The pool, though, seemed like being used recently, as there were clothes left out to dry along the chipped blue edge of the pool. Across the pool once resided Escobar's army of ruthless bodyguards, led by Popeye John Jairo Velasquez, who claimed to have killed more than 300 people and planned 3,000 people including his wife. No wonder, even after decades, this place has its glory. And though this mansion in La Isla Grande is also owned by the government, it has slowly fallen into ruin. For most of it, along with the larger structures, the individual chalet apartments are also ruined because of the relentless Caribbean trade winds. The people of Isla Grande believe that before the arrival of Escobar, this island was alive. But after Escobar's arrival, he gradually killed all the residents of this island and made it his private property. It took him years to construct this mansion according to his will, and he has left no leaf unturned while making it extravagant. The expensive interior and exterior still can be seen in some of the ruins, but as they say, neither crime nor criminals lost for long. Pablo Escobar couldn't spend much time in this mansion, and after his death, the mansion also was left to decay. Pablo Escobar, known as the King of Cocaine, was reportedly responsible for 80% of the world's cocaine during his time as the head of the metal and drug cartel. He ruled in the Hacienda Napoles, which was Pablo's extravagant estate in Colombia. This spectacular mansion had a large house that included a zoo with hippos, rhinos, and giraffes, an airport, and even a replica dinosaur park. After he died in 1993, the government took control of the property and today it is turned into a theme park. 
worth $5.1 billion, the Hacienda Napoles can be visited by tourists all year round and is a great place for entertainment. But unfortunately, Pablo Escobar's other property has been left to deteriorate. Lies empty, this mansion depicts that life, no matter how powerful, has to end. The pastel-hued walls can now be seen cracking and the garden growing wild. The island has no clean water or electricity and is difficult to access unless you have a speedboat. And even if someone visits, you can only live here until your food supplies can last. This surely is the tragic fate of once the world's most beautiful mansion. That is all for now, guys. If you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing content.